everybody. Hey. What the hell happened at the Oscars? <laughs> Oscars last night. That was nuts. All right, so most of you, if you're up watching this now live, uh, you probably were asleep for the end of the Oscars, or you went yeah. right to sleep as soon as La La <laughs> Land was announced as uh, Best Picture. But, uh, you know, if you're online, you probably already heard. There was a major screw-up. Yeah. Last night. Bonkers. So, made sandwich. What the hell happened? So they announced the winner. They said La La Land wins Best Picture. The All the producers, cast and crew go up and they're all very happy. And then like halfway through, uh, Jimmy Kimmel and like Warren Beatty come back out. Uh, and you can see them like... <laughs> Oops! You can see them like million about in the background like trying to explain to the guys while the guy's like still mid-speech. Uh, and then one of the guys, like the last guy giving a speech like, oh by the way, we lost. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I, I guess what happened is uh, Price Waterhouse screwed up. And yeah. you know, this is like all they do. Right? This is their one job. All they have to do is just write the names of the winners on the cards, hand them to the people as they go out. And they make a big deal every year. They come yeah. out with a briefcase. They didn't and they... do that this year, so maybe there was a lot of security <laughs> going around. <laughs> or maybe they felt they were snubbed and they stuck it to the Oscars. Like, oh, you're not going to have us come out? Yeah, screw you guys. <laughs> we'll give you Emma Stone's envelope. Yep. Yeah, so uh, a lot of people are uh, reeling from that. But, you know, Crazy. the good part about the whole thing is you wound up being right with all of your Oscar I, predictions. Yeah, I did. I said uh, there would be a split. I did say that uh, I thought La La Land would picture a Moonlight Woman director, but I, th I said it could go the other way around. You went, yeah, you said either way it was going to split regardless. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you got uh, Casey Affleck, right? Yep. And you got Emma Stone, right? And so. Emma Stone, yeah. Herschel Ali, Viola Davis. Yeah, so, man, you were you're right on there. Screw Price Waterhouse. Just, they should have meat sandwich just up there saying, eh, there's all the people at once. <laughs> you don't even need the envelopes. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, so it was a fun uh, Oscars. I, I thought uh, Jimmy Kimmel did a great job last night. I enjoyed it. I thought it was solid. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a big Jimmy Kimmel fan, but I thought he was pretty good. Uh, I like him because he's uh, he doesn't make me nervous when I watch him. Like he <laughs> seems like you know he's just like I don't know if he's really stoned or what the deal is, but he's just like he's up there and you know a joke doesn't land. He's yeah, not rattled. He, he still makes it work. Yeah, so. during, like during the end thing last night, like during all the chaos, he was like, you know, what, like he was still making yeah. jokes. And like, like, what are you yell, yelling at Warren Beatty? Like, what did you do? <laughs> it's like I blame Steve Harvey. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> for all this. But anyway, so it was pretty cool last night. We're gonna do a uh, full recap on the air with uh, with Meat Sandwich today. So yeah. uh, so tune in for that. Uh, also, this morning we gotta see how uh, Bobby Welber is feeling. See if he's warmed up yet. Uh, he did the uh, the big polar plunge on Saturday. Uh, I did see some video. Uh, we got some video of him and his friends jumping in the cold, freezing water. Yeah. Uh, it looks actually not that bad because there's no ice on the water. Okay. It was like It was like 70 degrees out. Yeah, it's a pretty warm day. <laughs> but I, I think the I'm water sure. temperature was in the 40s, so that's yeah. not not nice. It's not. I mean, it's not like as cold as it could be, though. I feel like that's like. No. Yeah. I still wouldn't do it. <laughs> but anyway, so we'll, we'll talk to Bobby about that as well. we got some uh, Hudson Valley misconnections we're going to share with you this morning. We've got some, some very interesting ones today that we have uh, been combing through the uh, personal ads trying to find. Uh, let's see. Uh, Lois says, Looney Tunes. Yeah, it was Looney Tunes last yeah. night. Uh, June says, the Russians did it. Yeah, they hacked it to the Oscars. <laughs> That's what it was. Uh, Rich says, Steve Harvey's fault. Uh, Charlie says, blame it on the Russians. Yep. William says it was fixed. Well, they fixed it. It was broken, but then they <laughs> fixed it. So you might be right there. Uh, Charlie says good morning. Jack says good morning. Uh, Rich also says it was fixed. That was bananas. Mike says good morning. Helen, a lot of people uh, checking this morning. All right, so good morning to everybody. Uh, thanks for uh, watching. All right, so uh, what else we got going on today? We got a big week here on the Boris and Robin show. Oh, yeah, uh, as always. Yeah, tomorrow is Fat Tuesday. Oh, yeah. It's big Mardi Gras. So we, we, got, we got that going on. Yeah, are we having the CIA come in? Is that the, uh, is that the plan? Culinary Institute, I think, is is coming in next week. Okay. I think their schedule didn't work out, so we got something very cool planned for tomorrow. We're not going to reveal that yet, but we got something cool okay. for, uh, for Fat Tuesday. Cool. Uh, and then uh, we've got our friends from the um, uh, Comic Con, Hudson Valley Comic Con, coming in this oh, week. Oh, yeah. They're going to announce like special guests, right? They got a big announcement. There's going to be some special guests, so if you're nerds like us, you might want to tune in for that on Wednesday. Uh, but uh, also today, Rob's going to do her Stoner Report. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, Patty on the River. we got the big St. Patrick's Day uh, parade this weekend coming up. So as we head into March, I think we're, uh, we're finally here for spring and yeah. things are good. Very so. cool. All right. So have a good morning, everybody. Thanks for watching. Um, I feel like there's something else I have to tell people about, but that's probably it, right? Uh, yeah. I don't think there's anything. Well, listen to the show. What, yeah. What are you doing this for anyway? Six o'clock we, uh, we start. It's coming up in just a little bit. Thanks for watching.